Percy Harris and his family moved to Cedar Rapids in 1957. He was a medical intern at St. Luke's Hospital, but finding housing as an African American proved nearly impossible. Percy Harris and his family really uh, made a statement about the equality for all Cedar Rapids and Lynn County residents at a time when there was, in the 1960s, when there was a lot of this sort of social re-examination of what we need to be as a community at that time. Dr. Harris persevered and continued working at St. Luke's and went on to become the Lynn County Medical Examiner for 40 years. Well, he was uh, clearly a trendsetter for the Af African American community in our, in our community and also in the medical community here. I mean, he was certainly the first African American Chief of Staff that we had here in Cedar Rapids. Uh, and so he broke a lot of racial barriers, uh, but he also just spoke for humanity at every point and juncture in his career. Harris was NAACP President Diedrich Doolin's family physician. Harris later became a mentor to Doolin. To me, he was inspiring, you know, and he was very, like I said, he did it in a very soft-spoken way. He, you know, um, and he said, you know, just, just, you know, you know, uh, I really see what you're doing. I think, I think it's great. Continue to speak up and stand up for people who don't have a voice for themselves. Dylan recalls a time Harris anonymously bought children tickets to a Muhammad Ali event. He called me up and he says, I want you to find 100 kids, that 100 deserving kids that can't afford to go, and I'll buy their tickets. I don't need anybody to know that I'm buying their tickets. Dylan says the gesture speaks to the heart and gentle kindness that Harris and his family had, and the positive, lasting impact they will continue to have in the history of the community.